Music can be enchanting, unifying, uplifting, and healing. So are folk tales and poems. The outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020 uh, brought all of us to a liminal moment when we were not sure about what was going on and what we could or should do. As a trained folklorist, I began to think about how we could learn from our traditions because each culture has its own ways to memorize the past pandemics. Chinese have developed their traditions of preventing epidemics, not only through traditional medicine, but also through festivals to establish the views about nature and the human health, and to maintain healthy foodways. For example, the Dragon Boat Festival, which integrates the spirituality, health, community, and entertainment together. I put together 30 tales and 30 poems along the theme of epidemics. Uh, they range from a classical text to contemporary oral telling, from legendary tales told by the common people to poems by some famous uh, elites. These tales and poems may have never been known in the English world. To put these tales and poems in a folkloristic perspective, I brought forth the concept of a folklore of epidemics in order to trigger further academic studies of the topic. We are constantly struggling between the traditional and the modern, between the tradition of believing and the tradition of disbelieving, and between folk beliefs and sciences. Along with the COVID-19 pandemic, the anti-AAPI communities, particularly anti-Chinese movement, rampantly researched. For example, uh, there was the saying that the Chinese eat the bat, which was uh, believed to be the transmitter of the coronavirus. That was not the truth. Chinese do use the symbol of the bat for auspiciousness or good luck due to the same pronunciation of the two terms, which is a characteristic of Chinese symbolism. Some things are clear. We can and should learn a lot from our traditions, and we can and should learn a lot from each other's traditions. The sound of the flute may remind you of the tale Piet Piper of the Hamlet from the 13th century, which was about a devastating epidemic. We can and should use tales and poems and other folklore forms to memorize the past, to make sense of what we are doing today and transcend us from one world to another and to heal ourselves during a difficult time. Thank you.